how do I assess this divine wisdom? I haven't seen these mysteries, this fact, these blessings, the riches of wisdom. How do I assess it? Three ways before we round up. Are you ready? Number one way to assess it is by the fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. Which means reference for God. You can't experience the wisdom of God until you walk in reference for God. People don't reference God. Even many Christians, no reference for God. They live a life without guide, without control, without cons consequence of their action. Because they lack the fear of God. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. He said, the fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of wisdom. So when your wisdom begins at the place where your fear of God began. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So living to please God is a major requirement to flow in wisdom. Living in the fear of God is a sure way. We saw Joseph that we looked at. How God enthroned him, lifted him. But he was a man that feared God. Genesis chapter 42 verse 19. He said, for I fear God. No wonder he had wisdom. For I fear God. Daniel, another man that operated by the wisdom of God. He said, I have made up my mind not to defy myself with a portion of the king's meat. I have made up my mind. Verse Genesis 42, 18. So the fear of God is the credential for wisdom. It's the password for wisdom. If, if you don't hate evil, you, you will lack wisdom. If you don't hate evil, you will lack wisdom. Hate evil. Hate deception. Hate lying. Hate stealing. Don't convert what is not yours. Be truthful. When you speak, let them believe you. Be a man of integrity. Walk uprightly. Walk uprightly. Desire peace. Hate troubles. Walk in love. These are the secrets of wisdom. Depart from evil if you must assess wisdom. The fear of God. Number two is meekness. 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 What is meekness? Humility. Humility. Proverbs, Psalm chapter 25, verse 4. Verse 9. Psalm 25, verse 9. Meekness is required to get anything from God. Anything at all. We need meekness to maintain the flow of divine wisdom. We need meekness to assess anything from God. We saw in Psalm 25, verse 9, he said, the meek will he guide in judgment. The meek will he teach his ways. And the ways of God are the ways of wisdom. Am I communicating? Say with me, Lord, I receive the spirit of meekness. Pour it upon me afresh. Father, I receive the spirit of meekness in Jesus' name. You must be meek to assess the wisdom of God. A proud man cannot assess the wisdom of God. A proud man, God will resist him. A proud man cannot get the best of God. So by all means, seek to be humble. And that's what meekness comes in to play. And lastly, as I close, is salvation. You must receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Salvation. Matthew chapter 11 verse 19. Matthew eleven nineteen. Divine wisdom is limited to the redeemed. Wisdom is the emblem of the redeemed. When you are born again, you become a carrier of wisdom. The Bible says, the son of man came eating and drinking. And they say, behold, a gluten and a wine by and a friend of publicans and sinners. But the Bible says, wisdom is justified in her children. In other words, he became a custodian of wisdom by redemption. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. He said, Jesus is the power and wisdom of God. Power and wisdom of God. In other words, Jesus is wisdom personified. Personified. If you don't have Jesus in your life, you are still living in foolishness until now. But the good news is, it's never late to be right. You can correct it even now. Jesus, I've heard your word. I have realized that what I need is you. So that I can walk in your ways, walk in your principle. I'm tired of doing religion. I'm tired of doing church. I want to do you, Jesus. I want to live by your ways. I want to know you more. I want to live by your principles. That's how to assess the wisdom of God.